Hello and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we're actually doing something a little different. Normally we take a look at completed games on First 20, but today we're doing an early access game. This is Deliver Us the Moon. Um, and honestly, I get emails all the time from indie developers saying, you know, please take a look at my game, you know, show my game on your channel. This is one of the only times I think I've ever decided to play a game based on a single screenshot. It, uh, it really grabbed my attention, and uh, I decided right then and there, yes, based on this one screenshot, I have to play this game. So this is a uh, very early Deliver Us the Moon. Um, if you're interested in it, there's a Kickstarter going on now, and I'll put that in the uh, link below. And I haven't played this game, but based on that screenshot, I want to. Also, I think that you'll like it if you're into space and astronomy like, uh, like I am. Let's hit launch and see what happens. Kazakhstan, July 15th, 2069. I'm afraid the worst has happened. Operation Global Remedy has failed, and, and we are looking at a vast depletion of the Earth's resources. Should we engage on our final backup plan? This astronaut is the only chance humanity has left for survival. Are you aware this is a do or die mission? Once we launch, there's there's no turning back. We have no choice. All mankind depends on it. Please, deliver us the moon. Deliver us. Please. Deliver us. Please. Deliver us. Man, look at this. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, the, the screenshot that I was, I was sent in an email looked, you know, a little something like this. And I was like, yes, yes, I want to be an astronaut. Yes. Um, so this is it. Now, once again, this is, this is super early. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all the buttons are. And none of that's explained because, you know, it is early. But very cool. We got some... Some footprints. You can hold shift to run. Very neat. Oh, oh, I can jump! Okay, cool, I can jump with space. And I'm a little floaty. Can I go in here, though? I guess not. I'm not sure if I have any objectives or not. I may just be wandering around looking at a pretty environment, and honestly, I... would It'd be okay with that as well. I, uh, I'm a big astronomy buff. Um, I have been for many years, and I think that's why this stood out to me, uh, so much. So we're going somewhere. Also, the game is gorgeous. The game is very, very pretty. Wow. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what we're up to here. Well, delivering the moon, of course. Let's see, can we go in here? I'm sure that there's a specific objective. Possibly over here, so let's wander around this way. Now, I get requests for early access games um, quite often. I, I don't always do them. I do them like, occasionally. But if that's something that you guys would like to see more of, uh, do let me know, because we could certainly make that happen. Um, I just couldn't let this opportunity pass me up, because it was just it was too pretty. It looks like we can take the stairs or the elevator. I'm going to go for the elevator. So, Kazakhstan. Is that where we are? Because, um... That's what it said originally. Enter. Oh, hello. Snap, all right. Rocket quick startup guide. Start each event with caution. Uh, wrong button will cause a full system shutdown. There are two phases, ground phase and air phase. Complete all 10 stages to arrive at the space station. All right, so we're down on Kazakhstan. We gotta get to the space station. Start ground launch sequencer. Main engine, uh, second stage engine. Orbiter access arm, hydrogen burn-off system, 
Uh, and gaseous oxygen vent. Dude, this is trippy. But it's really freaking cool. Alright, so let's try this. Main engine, did I do it? Do I have to do both? Oh, maybe I have to start with that and then do main engine. Or hit these buttons. Ground launch sequencer. Ha! Okay, got it. So I pulled down that second, so I don't know if I needed to. Retract the orbiter access arm. Orbiter access arm. Got it. All right. Start the auxiliary power units. Uh, auxiliary power... Auxiliary power... Uh, auxiliary power units. Got it. Retract the gaseous oxygen vent arm. Let's see, where was that? I saw that. Uh, no. Here we are. Activate the sound suppression system that was up here somewhere. Sound suppression system. Uh, activate the hydrogen burn-off system. Gotcha. Main engine start. Let's do this thing! Oh my god. We're wiggling a lot. <laughs> We're wiggling in glorious 1080p60. It really- it is pretty. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting sick, though. Oh, God. I gotta look out the window. I think we're doing- I think we're going to space. So I want to keep looking out the window, though. Because we should be, uh, getting through the atmosphere. Which is sweet. I also like how it's not just like, oh, a loading screen. You- you are in space. It's like, no, you're going to space. Look outside. Holy crap. This is awesome. I mean, what was, ah, uh, what was the, the movie I saw not too long ago that was, um... God, I'm never gonna remember now. I think George Clooney was in it. It's been a while. Main engine cutoff. Okay. Um... Where is it? Second stage ignition. Main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff. Se stage separation. Where's that second stage ignition? Main engine cut off. There we go. Stage separation, which is where the I just saw it. I know I'm not great. There it is. Stage separation. Second stage separation or ignition. Got it. So we got through the ground phase, which was seven stages, and the air phase. Man, that's pretty. Alright, man, here we go. So we are now aboard the space station, and, and I, I'm not really sure what the, the story is exactly. It said we're the last... We're the last hope. Yeah, I think... I think this right here is the exact screenshot they sent me, and that was- that was enough for me. I think it was right here inside the space station. Alright, um, let's take a look around. Warning, oxygen breach. Press. Warning, no oxygen. Okay. And I think the thing... on... My my back indicates how many seconds I have of oxygen or something. Seems likely. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go fast. I'm hitting all these buttons. Does that open up? Maybe I should be going that way. Okay, ignore this stuff. The music's nice too. I mean I know this is all very you know very early in development. But it is nice. I'm just running around this thing. Once again, I have no clear goals at this moment in time. I'm just doing my thing and hoping that I'm doing it right. Okay, we're in. Do I have oxygen yet? Well, I have oxygen. Okay. I still don't have oxygen. 
Okay, all right. We're loading into something else. Hopefully I have oxygen now. Yeah, I think I'm good. You know, I actually get- I've never even played this game, but I get, um... I get the- the feeling of- and I- I can, now I'm never going to be able to remember the name. There's a horror game where you're like an astronaut or something like that, and you're on... What is this stupid game? I'm never gonna remember. Everyone in the comments is freaking out because they know the game. I think you play as Isaac or something like that, but I've never played it. I just know of it. Um... But I get that same kind of feeling, although I don't believe this is supposed to be a horror game. It's just an astronaut game, which, I mean, when you're on your own in space, can be pretty scary. All right, let's, uh, let's keep walking around here. Very cool. Let's go down here. Check this out. God, the music is creepy. Very creepy. Huh. So I guess I can go in and inspect some of this stuff. In case an emergency, applying high voltage will cause doors to open. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. The environment is very well, um, very well modeled. Like, I feel like this is completely believable and completely real. And, uh, I'm also impressed with the, uh, with the sound. Okay, so I've opened up something. Hold right mouse button to aim. Okay. So, I have some sort of gun. I'm also kind of- see, I'm trapped in here. Activate. I see. What it does is it applies... Um, high volts, high voltage, so I can get doors open. But they can't open that. It has to have a thing on it. I have to be allowed to activate something there. So I can get back into that room if I need to. And I don't know if there's a reason to now. There we go. See, that's already been pressed, so there's not really anything in here now. Okay. Well, I only went one direction, so I can go the other direction, too. Um, there's a really great, and I know I haven't, I haven't been remembering the names of anything in this, uh, in this video. There's a really great movie. One of my favorite films is simply called Moon, and I can't really explain it too much because it would give it away. But, uh, if you've, if you've never seen the film Moon, please watch it. It's fantastic. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite films. And uh, it's really, really good. And playing this is reminding me of that to some degree. At least I can finally get in these doors. Let's see what we got in here. There's a bunch of various things I, I can't interact with. Once again, very early game. Might be something that they plan to add uh, later on. Okay, so we got a computer down there. Can I go... We can really go all sorts of ways at this point. There's a lot of different paths. So, this is... That's, that's where we came from. So we're back into the main room. This is kind of like mission control or something, I suppose. Don't know if there's stuff we can interact with here. Oh, man, check it out. Man, that's awesome. Look at the Earth out there. This doesn't look so good. It's a bunch of red, red error error screens. Um, let's see, so that's the way we came in. Uh, oh, actually, we can't get over there, though, because it's uh, blocked off. So we need to head back this way. Uh, looks like just storage down here. So let's turn around and run back this direction. See if there's anything we can explore over here. Uh, can we get into this room? Not yet. Oh, here we go. Here's the door. Alright, here we are. Pick up. Press Q to switch items. 
Oh, that's cool, and it's like stored on my back, which is neat. Okay, I don't know what this does. Place. Press. Once again, I have no idea what's going on. There has not actually been any explanation. It's kind of interesting because it, uh... It... Because of that, and I'm sure that they'll explain more stuff in, like, the final version. But there's almost like an, uh, an air of mystery. Uh, oh, here we go. ASE droid on pedestal, pedestal lifted, first power pole activated, second power... Okay, so that's what I need to do. So I'm actually getting my objectives... Um... Through... This thing. That was actually pedestal two. Hopefully that's not a problem that I activated them out of order. The music started to get crazy. Oh, I think I do have to activate them in a certain order. Maybe. Or is it okay? Oh, I did it. Because it's not letting me do it again, I think. How do I get, uh... How do I get it back? Is there a way to bring it back down? Oh, activate the main procedure? Start. There was, uh, there was one other piece of information that I had about this title. And it was like, you're, you're a lone astronaut, but you also have this robot. And that thing I just activated must be the robot. And it's... coming to life. Hey, buddy. And there's- there's no- no interaction with it. But it, I guess, is my helper. I guess it's, uh, assisting me in some way. Okay. So now I get a friend. Man, the music is so creepy! It- it really, uh, it does a good job of representing... maybe, like, the... The emptiness of space. So let's run over here and see what we can find. Now maybe that thing can open these types of doors? Can you do that for me, buddy? Can you open these? I don't really have a way to interact with you. I can put away my item, but it doesn't mean I can interact with you. Okay, so now you're, you're your own thing, so I might as well continue to hold the gun. Once again, still not entirely sure where it is we need to be going. But I'm, I'm assuming that now that that thing is with me... I'll be able to accomplish, uh, something else. It's got, I've got, like, my own little R2-D2. What do you need, bud? This thing's glowing. Is this of any importance to you? Probably not. I can also jump, but I'm kind of scared to just start jumping over banisters. What I would reckon is I need to get into that room, just because I can see it. This looks like this was, like, a mess hall or something. Um... I was in there before. Oh, hey, maybe you can open this up. Because we tried to get in here, but there wasn't a, a thing to actually do. There's nothing- there's no thing to shoot. You know- you know what this thing actually reminds me of is, um... Uh... Was it- is it Wheatley from Portal 2? I think that's what it reminds me of. So I don't see any- any other way for me to go, so I'm gonna head back to the original area. See what I can find. Oh, right here. Aha! So now I understand what you can do. You can call elevators. Maybe you can do more, but for right now, that's your uh, primary purpose. Oh, I love how it didn't actually get on the elevator. There we go. No oxygen. Crap. Alright, um... Can you open this, buddy? The thing that sucks is I, I never actually refilled my oxygen from last time. Jeez. Can I drive this? It's my first thought, was can I drive thing? Wow. I ran outside. Is that the end? That was it. Well, first off, that was perfectly timed. That was 20 minutes. That, the ending there gave me goosebumps. Um, once again, huge astronomy guy. Uh, I really love space, and I was super excited when that arrived in my inbox. Um, this is still uh, a very early access game. Um, they're doing a Kickstarter for it right now. If you're like me and you thought that this was incredible, 
definitely consider backing the Kickstarter. I'll put a link down in the description below. And uh, maybe in the future we'll get to see a little more of Deliver Us the Moon. Because honestly, I thought that that was a pretty incredible experience. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week for another Stephen Plays First 20.